Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. I'll take you through some of the top local headlines and give an inside look as to what the 4 News Now team is working on today. We are expecting a warming trend heading into the weekend. Uh, for more information, let's turn to 4 News Now's Mark Peterson. Well, we continue our Friday knowing that it's going to be a warm day today and it's going to be warmer into Saturday. It's going to be sunshine today and tomorrow with a little bit of haze, but air quality is still good. Sunday's going to be breezy and cooler. And of course, the dry weather will continue. And of course, that's the four things that you need to know as we get going. Here's a look at the next 12 hours. We're going to have sunshine. Again, variable clouds. High today, 89. Uh, we'll see that at 4 o'clock again. We're going to be in the low, mid to then upper 80s all afternoon, all evening long sunsets. We finally start to cool down. As we look at our highs around the region, Ritzville 90-91 into uh, areas of Moses Lake and Wenatchee is going to be at 92 degrees. Um, things are looking pretty good there. Um, upper 80s throughout Coeur d'Alene, St. Mary's and Kellogg. Uh, the for, uh, forecast radar for the next couple of days calling for a little bit of afternoon clouds. That's going to be about it. We're going to see, again, some breezy conditions coming in on Sunday. The planning forecast, yeah, we're going to see temperatures at 92 on Saturday. Sunday, cooler, breezy, 86. Monday, potentially breezy, 86 there. And then warming into the mid-90s by the middle of the end of next week. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Peterson, First Alert Weather in the 4 News Now newsroom. Thank you, Mark. Uh, let's get into what everybody is working on today. We'll start with Natalie Grant, who was in court this morning uh, where the sentencing was handed down from Mark Hoffmeister. If you'll recall, Hoffmeister was a former Spokane gymnastics coach at Northwest Gymnastics Academy in the uh, 90s. And the victims allegedly came forward accusing Hoffmeister of sexual assault when they were children in the 90s. And uh, today he was sentenced to one year in prison and that is due to a plea deal and statute of limitations. Because of that, the judge was allowed one year maximum sentenced for Hoffmeister today. Hoffmeister originally pled not guilty, but later uh, accepted a plea deal and pled guilty to one count of indecent liberties. And because of that, he will spend the next year behind bars. Following that, he will have to register as a sex offender for 10 years, uh, also not commit any crimes within the next 10 years, and uh, he cannot be alone with children without supervision for the next 10 years as well. So that sentencing did come down today. Natalie Grant was in court and spoke with a victim uh, and about how she was now feeling vindicated following this sentencing coming down. Uh, so again, Natalie will have those details coming up tonight. Bronte Sorotsky, she's getting an inside exclusive look at Pepper Zach Middle School. Uh, Bronte reached out to Spokane Public Schools uh, because Pepper Zach Middle School is named after local Holocaust survivor Carla Pepper Zach. And Bronte is good friends with Carla and uh, has done stories with her before. So Bronte wanted to get a tour of this new middle school coming to uh, Spokane South Hill down in the Moran Prairie area. Uh, so this is the newest school of Spokane Public Schools expected to open in September. So that's exciting. Whole class of students coming in to the new Pepperzac Middle School. Bronte got to get a good look inside, take some photos, see what's going on, what's going to look like, what families and kids can expect in the fall. Marissa Rio, she is out in Coeur d'Alene today, where Vitalant is saying they're experiencing a blood shortage. Uh, for a long time nationwide, there's been a blood shortage, and we're not excused from that locally. So uh, Marissa headed out to Coeur d'Alene this morning, where she is going to try to speak with donors about why they feel the need to give and how important uh, giving blood is during times like these, especially when there is a shortage. And uh, according to Marissa, you know, in the summertime, they do need more blood donations because people are out, they're getting into more accidents, just um, maybe they're rowing and get hit in the head or something. Uh, so blood donations are very much needed this time of year. So Marissa will have that coming up tonight. 
Speaking of Marissa, this morning she took some time out of her busy schedule, our newest reporter, to sit down with me for our latest edition of Meet the Team, where I just sit down and get to know uh, one of the new members of the KXLY News team. So we got to know a little bit about Marissa, talk about the moving process up to Spokane, how she's liking it so far, and her cat. You can find out uh, there's a great picture of her cat in that, and that interview is available in full right now on our website and KXLY+. So thank you for joining me uh, for the Daily Rundown today. Be sure to download KXLY Plus on your connected TVs. So that's Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. Also be sure to download the 4 News Now mobile app and turn on notifications so you can get the latest breaking news in your community. So we will have those stories and more coming up tonight at 5. But for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY Plus.